Hi folks, welcome to the next in the series, Understanding and Using Excel. This time we'll be looking at how to add hours and also to extract days, months and years from dates. On with the presentation. In this example, we'll see that on these given days, an employee has worked these hours and minutes in overtime. A little comment here, you'll notice how the semicolon in the times is used to create the hours and the minutes. For example, 1 colon 30 is the same as 1.5 hours. The semicolon can be further extended if you want to show seconds. So 1 colon 45 colon 30 is the same as 1 hour 45 minutes 30 seconds. So what I want to do is to add up in this cell the number of hours that the employee has worked over time. So I'm going to quickly go to the Auto Sum button and Excel has guessed correctly, it's looked up the column, says are these the numbers you want added up, I'll press Enter. Well, 9 hours and 10 seconds. If I paid this employee that amount of overtime, he would not be a happy camper. So what I need to do is to click back on that cell to select it and then go into the drop arrow in the Number group in the Home tab and go down to more number formats and I see here in the type in the custom category that I need to put a square bracket around the H and now when I click OK hey presto it shows me the correct number of hours and minutes how does Excel do that well Excel stops at 24 hours by default and then starts at zero again when it thinks there's a new day when we add hours. So if I custom format that particular cell by putting the square brackets around the H in the custom area, it makes Excel continue adding the hours but not stop at 24. So not difficult, just remember if you have hours that you want to add that exceed 24, you need to format the cell in which the answer resides. Let's look at some other custom formatting, this time to extract values for days, months and years. Here I have a date the 1st of January 2010. I want to know what day that fell on. So I click on the cell and here in the number group in the home tab I'll click the drop arrow. At the moment it's in date format. I go down to more number formats and custom and here in the type I'm going to drag through that and type 4Ds. And when I click OK, it tells me that that was a Friday. If I want to extract the month and, know, and see the month in text, I click on the cell to select it, up to the drop arrow, down to more number formats, and in the custom category, I'm going to drag through and type four M's. Whoops, got a comma in there, we don't want that. Four M's and click OK, it's a February. To extract the years, just to see 2005, same procedure, drop arrow, more number formats, custom, and this time I'll just type the four Y's. And click OK, and there I see that it has extracted just the year. If you type less D's or less M's or less Y's, you'll see short days, for example FRY is shown to me with three D's, FEB with three M's and O5 with three Y's. There is an alternative method using the text function which can be quite handy because now I can use my autofill button as we'll see. So to extract the day here I'm going to use a function, a formula called text equals text. Open a bracket and this cell, comma, and then in double quotes, four Ds. Close the double quotes, close the bracket, and control return keeps me in the same cell. And now I can just simply auto fill down by dragging or double clicking there. I can double click because there was data in the column to the left. What about the month? Same procedure. Equals text, open a bracket. I want to extract the month this time from this cell, followed by a comma, in double quotes, four M's, one, two, three, four, close the double quotes, close the bracket, control enter, beautiful, January, double click this time, there's data in the column to the left, 
and there we see the um, the correct months and the years same procedure more number formats custom or why don't I type equal text it's a lot quicker equal text open a bracket this cell comma double quotes one two three four years close the double quotes close the brackets control enter and auto fill down either by double double clicking or dragging down and there it shows me the years so there are some clues guys on how to uh, add hours at exceed 24 and how to extract days months or years from dates remember to subscribe because there will be lots more information and how to do things in what I hope will become your virtual classroom in Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.